So here we are, BMS 171, axial skeleton prac, looking at the bones of the skull to begin with, and the cranial bones that we're looking for first. Here from an anterior point of view of a plastic coloured skull, we can see the frontal bone, right here at the front, the superior aspect. Just behind the frontal bone, just posterior to the frontal bone, we have two parietal bones. So we'll have a right one and a left one. And then on from seen from a, a lateral point of view, we can see the temporal bone. We can see the left one here, the right one, of course, be on the other side of the skull. So that's the temporal bone there in brown. Just anterior to it is the sphenoid bone. And the sphenoid bone, there's only one, and it runs right across the skull from right to left. So see where that red band of bone across here is running right across to the other side. So there we've got two views or three views there of the sphenoid bone. Now posteriorly, I'm sorry, just to orientate ourselves again, so we're, we've got anterior and posterior here. So posteriorly, in blue, we have the occipital bone. And if we look from an inferior point of view, we can see how big it is very large bone there at the back. So that's the occipital bone. And then lastly, the ethmoid bone. Now the ethmoid bone is kind of right in the middle of the skull. So here, if we're looking into the orbit, so we're looking into the left orbit from a kind of lateral and anterior point of view, there's in yellow the ethmoid bone. If we look up at the nasal cavity from a, an inferior an anterior point of view, this is the ethmoid bone up here in yellow. So deep within the nasal cavity. And whoever designed this model probably should have thought about it a little more because this bone here is the inferior nasal conca and they've made it either exactly the same colour or a very similar colour to the ethmoid, but it is actually a separate bone. Okay? So this is the inferior nasal conca there on the lateral wall of the nasal cavity. So there are two of them, one here on the left and one here on the right. Uh, but this collection of little plates of bone up here is the ethmoid bone. Uh, and then again, of course, in the other orbit, the right orbit, we can see the ethmoid bone on the medial surface of the orbit there. Now, facial bones, just inferior to where we were looking there at the cranial bones. Firstly, the maxilla. And so they're considered to be two maxillae, two bones, a right and a left there. Sorry, I've said that the wrong way around, so a right and a left. Um, and then the zygomatic bones. So they're just lateral to where the maxillae will be. So there's the left zygomatic bone there, the cheekbone, commonly known as. Then inferior to them, we have the mandible, or inferior jawbone. And then back up towards the orbit, nasal bones here. Now they're only small and quite fragile, so there's two nasal bones there. Then we can see the maxilla extends up here to the frontal bone and then just posterior to that bit of maxilla we have another little bone here called the lacrimal bone. So there's the lacrimal bone right there. Now in order to find the palatine bone we can have a look here at the inferior point of view where we can see firstly the mandible and then the maxilla. So we can see both of those bones that house the teeth and make up the jaw just posterior to the uh, maxilla here at the roof of the mouth is the palatine bone. So the maxilla and the palatine bone make up the hard palate. And then we're looking at a, the posterior part here of the vomer. So the vomer makes up part of the nasal septum. So the bony piece that divides your nasal cavity into right and left. So it's all vomer here that we can see. But if we have it have a look at an anterior point of view, the voma anteriorly is very small. It's very short in height here, but it's triangular. So as it moves posteriorly, it gets taller. Okay, so the voma quite small here, but quite tall posteriorly. And the other part of the nasal septum from seen from an anterior point of view here is part of the ethmoid bone. So there'll be a plate that part that's part of the ethmoid that joins with the voma to separate the nasal cavity into right and left halves. 